Hey Cup of Christ fam, welcome back to my channel. I am so thankful that you guys are here. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So there are verses that in our everyday life we love to post up on Instagram or on Facebook or you know we, we tweet them out and we put those little fire emojis on there saying yes Lord speak and it's so funny how sometimes a lot of the verses it's easy to to focus in general it's easy to focus and say yes these should apply in general but when you start going specifics it becomes a little hard let me give you an example Ephesians 4 31 and 32 let all bitterness wrath anger clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God in Christ forgave you the New Living Translation says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Now, that sounds like an amazing verse, right? Yes! Let go of our anger, let go of everything, and, and just forgive others and we can so that we can have this peace amongst us, right? Yes! How hard is that though? How hard is it to forgive somebody who's done you wrong? If you were to put, instead be kind to, be kind to those who talk about you in the church. Be kind to the, that man who was rude to you and cut you off in traffic. Be kind and be and tenderhearted and forgive. Forgive that person who stole from you. Forgive that person who turned their backs on you. It's easy to say the verse, but <laughs> but when it comes down to actually doing it, it's a totally different thing. You know, I, I told you guys that when I do these videos, I ask the Lord for help. I ask the Lord for guidance and wisdom. I ask the Lord, what do you want me to talk about? What do you want me to say? And sometimes he actually puts me through situations that he wants me to talk about rather than just talking about them. because. What good are my words when they don't have weight? This topic is about forgiveness. How to, what is so important about forgiveness? God constantly talks about the forgiveness. You can actually, you can actually look so many verses in the Bible that talks about forgiveness. And then on top of that, the Bible reminds us to forgive as God forgave us. And forgiveness isn't something that we, well, it's, it's, it's a good thing that we should do. It should think we should try. It's actually a commandment. The Lord commands us to forgive. We have to forgive those that hurt us. But how, how hard is that, especially when it's, it seems that our anger or our bitterness is justified, especially when, when somebody has done something against you. It is so hard to say, stand before the Lord and say, how can I forgive that person? Lord, you know what they did. You know how that person talked about me. You know what they did to my reputation. You know what they did this and this and this. And we lay out all these excuses as to why we shouldn't have to forgive them because of what they did. And I'm turning white again, one moment. The sun keeps popping out. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on. And so we come to Lord with all these excuses as to why we can't, we shouldn't have to forgive that person because of what they did. I had to deal with it. And I think the reason why God put me through this was, was because he wanted me to tell you what happens. For about three to four years, there was this, there was a situation that has happened and it had really scarred me. It left me bitter, it left me angry, and I was hurt completely about the situation. And then on top of that, the people that hurt me, I was angry with them because of what they did. They turned their backs on me and, and, and they, and I felt betrayed, to be honest. And I was so full of anger. I was so full of, not, it wasn't hatred, but I wanted just, I told God that I can't wait to see. I actually told God, I cannot wait to see when your wrath comes upon them. And I was angry and you know, I look back at it and now I'm like, all that energy wasted, all that energy being angry at, at, at something that you know was completely out of my control and in fact God still used that situation anyway and everything turned out great anyway but I, I was so concentrated on what they did and what how they hurt me that 
and not just me, there was a lot of people that they heard that I could not forgive them. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not, there is no way. And I even told God, I said, there is no way that you have, you can come to me and ask me to forgive them after what they did. And it was a really long time that I had held that bitterness and anger. I want justice, I wanted revenge, it became that. Because that's all, and, and when I would see them, I would try to make it a point to stick my nose up in the air. What you did didn't hurt me, even though my actions did prove it, it did affect me, that it, it was eating me inside. And that's one thing I want to say about anger, about bitterness. It's a cancer. It eats away at you. It, it, it destroys your happiness. And it also allows the devil to get his foot in the door into your heart. And we all fall for that. I did. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it was about three or four years. I just was able to completely forgive that person. In fact, it wasn't just one person, it was, it was a couple, and I cannot tell you the weight that lifted off of me when I did that. So that's, and that's one thing that I want you guys to understand. Forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. It's for you to be able to let go, to, to release that weight, because because it becomes a burden. You cannot ignore the anger or the hurt. Don't try, don't do what I did. I tried to bury it and I tried to say that I was fine. I tried to tell everybody that it didn't bother me. But deep down, because I kept pushing it further and further down, it kept eating me up and eating me up even more until I started to be, that's all I started to think about was how much I wanted their revenge on them, how much I wanted to see justice done. Even in Ephesians, that same chapter, it says, be angry, do not sin. I believe it's verse 26. I was like, wait a minute, the Bible says be angry, but it says do not sin, meaning, you know, it's okay to be hurt. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay. And in, and in fact, that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to admit that we are hurt, that we are angry, because we that's where he can come in and heal the wounds in our heart. But we have to admit that there is a problem, that, that admit that there is hurt. Admit that there are wounds in your heart. It just says, do not sin, meaning do not go trying to find ways to get back at those people. Do not go and, and try to ruin your testimony just because you want to get revenge on those people. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So he is looking at everything. He is watching everything. And everything is going to come full circle. And here's one thing that I've learned and that I've realized that a lot of times the reason why people hurt you is because there are things in their past, there's things in their life that have been, that they have been hurt by. And sometimes there's things in them that they are not secure about. And so in the response, they lash out at you or they do something and it hurts you. And we are all human. We all make mistakes. We all struggle. We all fail. We all make bad choices. I'm not even going to lie about that. I slip up a lot. But God is merciful. And that's another key thing. God has forgiven you for all of your sins. Every single sin that you have done, that you're doing, and that you will do, He's already forgiven you for that. So why is it that we expect God to forgive us of our sins and yet we can't even forgive the sins of our brothers or our sisters or those people who have hurt us? If you do not let it go, if you do not release it to the Lord, you will continue to struggle in your spiritual life and you can never reach the full potential of your relationship with the Lord because that is what's holding you back. So I heard a saying one time that said, when you have people that have offended you or you have, you know, there are people that are hurting you, pray for them. And I know it seems silly, pray for them. Because your prayers may not change them, but it will change you. Right now, I encourage you that if there, if there are certain, if you start putting specific people or specific situations that you feel that are, are unjust and that God should just act right now and that you want to see revenge, <laughs> um, that is something that you, again, you're gonna have to first off admit that there is a problem, that there is an anger that you have. Then you've got to release it at his feet and then pray for those people and ask the Lord to help them see how they offended you. And not only that, pray for them because there may be something in, in going on behind the scenes that they're hurting as well. Because we all need Jesus, we all need the Lord, and we all need his His. Holy Spirit to restore us, but you know, it is not 
helping when we have we hold these grudges against each other instead of praying for each other and asking the Lord to heal us so guys you know ask the Lord for healing and you have to one let it go and move on and and just release everything at his feet so guys, I'm. I, this has run a little long. I'm so sorry. I always say that. I always say that it's never gonna run, run long. I always say that it's never gonna run long, but it does anyways. <laughs> I know it's hard, guys. I know it's hard. It, it's easier said than done. Believe me. I mean, it took me four years. <laughs> so I completely understand your situation. But I can promise you that if you really want to be set free and you want that weight to be taken off, forgive. Forgive, let go, and pray. And ask the Lord to heal those wounds in your heart so that you don't end up hurting other people. And that He can restore you. And then that's what His Spirit does. But guys, I, I know it is hard, but I'm praying for you guys. Um, like I always say, if you have petitions, or if you have this certain situation, of, um, and asking, you're trying to ask the Lord to help you to forgive, I will be more than happy to pray with you all so that God can continue to heal you and restore you to where he wants you to be. But I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys. I love your support. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next Monday. God bless you.